stand up. We'll actually be getting some paint on the OBS on this video. My plan is to paint the door jams and up under the hood. So my first step is taking the doors off, also the hood off. And once I do that, I cut you back on, take everything in the booth, and get started. Got the doors and the hood off. I had some help this time. Southern Shaver TV, he just left. I didn't get a video of it because we was too busy trying to get all this before you leave taken care of. And I also got the bed off. I needed that help in here now. Because I was trying to figure out how I was going to do it just by myself. But we got it taken care of. Me, Southern Shepherd TV, and my partner Justin, he helped us out too. So I'm good to go now. I can start spraying it up. But we're going to take care of them doors and the hood first. We got everything set up to get started on prepping the doors and the hood up to be painted. We got to remove this heat shield because he's not going back with the heat shield. He want me to spray candy up on that. So that's what I'm going to do. But our first step after I remove this. We're going to clean everything up before we start sanding. I just got some dish detergent and some water. And that's what we're going to do. Alright, we got that taken care of. Just gonna throw this in the trash. We ain't gonna be needing this no more. I got that sticker removed. Now we're just gonna take our rag and just clean everything up. We want a clean surface before we start sanding because we could sand some of that dirt into the scratches then we'll have some kind of paint reaction and we don't want that Got everything back in the booth. It's still wet from the wash. I believe I'm just gonna wipe it down, then blow it off, kind of dry it up before I start sanding on it. I had to move this weather stripping off the glass and rolled the glass down. I'm just gonna mask this part here off. because I actually don't have to paint none of this. I just gotta paint around here, back around here. Once I get everything dried off, I'll be using my maroon scotch bright. This is my go-to here. I use it on everything. I've been removing these little plugs this plug here go right here. And the small one, it goes right here. This piece of insulation, it goes right here with a mirror's bolt on. 
And these pieces here go on the side of the mold for the window track. I think this the other side. Doing this side here. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit all this to the side, and once I get through painting, I'll put everything back on. But I got everything dry now, so I take my room shots right. All you want to do is just scuff it up so the painter has something to burn to. It's factory paint, so it's in good shape, so it don't really have to be primed or nothing. You can go straight to the base coat. But I'm going to prime. Well, I'm not going to prime it. I'm going to seal this hood so I have one uniform color. I'm going to seal it white once I get through scuffing everything up. So let me take care of that. Then I'll cut you back on. get caught up I finished this door here on this white it's kind of hard to tell from where you done sand it at and where you haven't but you want it to be dull you want to dull it off so I haven't done this door and it's still shiny glossy but you want it dull that's how you know it's sanded but it's kind of hard to tell on this white this door here is good to go only thing I gotta do is just mask everything up that I don't want paint on. So I'm gonna move on over to this door, take care of it. Just finished up sanding everything. This piece here, it had a little water still in some of the spots. That's why it's wet right here. I had took the latch off because I'm gonna paint the latch probably satin black. And I took the stickers off because they was faded. It was one here and one here. In here and it had a few scratch marks right here so I put some glaze and put it on it I'm a wet sand these spots here and after I finish that I'll be done with the sanding then I take my blow holes and blow all this dust off make sure it's blowed off real good especially this piece here because that dust seem to want to hide up in these little spots here when you start spraying it'll come out then you have trash in your paint so you want to make sure you blow that off real good there so let me take care of this once I take care of that I'll be ready to blow it off then wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover then I'll be ready to shoot my base this here I wear sanded this with 320. I just used a wet rag wipe everything down for the time being because I'm gonna come back out here in the morning and finish up I just wanted to wipe it down and then once I do the masking then I wipe it down with wax and grease remover still drying up over here I 
I'll cut you back on in the morning. It's the following morning here. I finished up with the masking. Let me take you around, show you what I did. I just put a piece of paper in there, try to keep it off that glass. But I just put this here because the weather's stripping, hanging down, trying to keep it off it. I'll be spraying this first with the white silver. But before I spray anything, I'm going to wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. And I'll be using this prep oil. Just got to wipe it on and wipe it off. white silver here it's still flashing off it ain't fully flash that's why it's still kind of shining in some areas I just put one coat on it just to get a uniform color between the hood and the doors I also sprayed a few spots on the doors like right here where I put that spot put at I think I sprayed somewhere else can't remember but I'm gonna let this flash on off then I spray my base coat three coats of the base I put a micro flake metallic in it it's kinda hard to see it through the camera with this gray I can get you a better shot right here this flake it just get everywhere it's all over the place I can't even see it on the floor though but I can see it So I go ahead and spray my candy red now.
this three coats of the clear. I still didn't bury all the micro flake, but like I said before, I'm a wet sand and go back and flow coat it. That should take care of it. Cause you still can see the texture. Most of it buried though. The hoods you can see it real good on these flat areas. Trying to get a good view of it. See if I can get some from this light here. You can see it there. But I'm gonna let it dry. Then I'll come back wet sanding with probably 600. 600 to 400. This the following day here. It done dried, so we can go ahead and start wet sanding. What I'm gonna be using, I got some 400 grit. I was gonna use 600, but I'm gonna use 400. The clear, it'll cover the 400 stretches. But you can see the orange peel now. The orange peel and the texture. I just got some 400 and some soapy water. I got a piece tour like this. I'm going to use my hand with this piece here, just around the edges. On these jams here, I'm not too concerned about getting the orange peel out totally. My main concern is knocking the nibs down, knocking that microflake down. Once I get it smooth, I'll be good to go. Because I'm going to shoot two more coats of clear on it, and it should pretty much fill up everything else but once it dry I'll cut you back on and show you more on the orange peel let's look at this door panel here so I can show you the orange peel see right here you can see the orange peel now them just spots that I didn't sand flat enough but I'm not concerned with it too much I gotta hit this again around this corner. Still shining. But the texture is flat now. I'm gonna hit this some more. There's a few more spots I got to go back and touch up. I think I got everything sanded, but I'll know more once I wipe this down and it dry off. Then I can inspect it more, make sure everything do it off. So the clip able to stick. Let me wipe it down, then I'll cut you back on.
like I'm ready now for a flow coat. I wiped everything down with a wet rag. Now I'm going to go back and take some wax and grease remover and wipe it down.
diamond, diamond, diamonds in my pinky ring, diamonds in my necklace, diamond, diamonds in my bracelet. I seen them check my wreck, my wrist, gold frame, juicy shade, custom made, pieces swing, multi color diamonds glistening in both of my pieces. Diamonds, diamonds in my pinky ring, diamonds in my necklace, diamonds in my bracelet. I seen you trying to take my gold, gold frame, juicy shade, custom made, pieces swing, multi color diamonds glistening in both of my diamonds in my bracelet. I seen them check my wreck, my wrist, gold frame, juicy shade, custom made, pieces swing, multi color diamonds glistening in both of my pieces. Diamonds, diamonds in my pinky ring, diamonds in my necklace, diamonds in my bracelet. I seen you trying to take my gold, gold frame, juicy shade, custom made, pieces swing, multi color diamonds glistening in both of my pieces. It's like some rainbow bright shit. Every time the light hit, the body really gave us the ever We never stop. Right.